have great taste, especially with your radio choice. Thank you for spending a little time with Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. Report Bozier's number one for new country. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Gary in Bristol. This has disaster written all over it. Oh, my gosh. But I really wish I would have had this when no, we lived in Broadmoor. No, you do not. No, I no, really do. you don't. <laughs> They're now uh, using these ring doorbell cameras. Mm-hmm. In a way that no one would have ever dreamed of. They have rigged them up so that now they will shoot paintballs at someone coming onto your property. They say there's a Kickstarter on the way. It's a device called Paint Cam Eve. Has the capability to fire paintballs at a target with ultra high precision. I'm still not seeing the problem. Say it's a, a kid who's toilet paper in your house, neighbor's pet, mm-hmm. smart device with facial recognition, and the paintball firing can be triggered by you as you're watching on the app, or they say it could be automated. I sat out on the front porch one night with a water hose just waiting for those kids to come back. Totally different. If it shot water, that'd be one thing. Paintballed in the eye of your grandchild who just happened to want to come over to Mama's house. You are, yeah, but you have to engage it. Unless no, it said it's, it's automated. You can get it automated. Oh, no. I still want one. <laughs> Apparently, it's from a, a startup in Slovenia. I'm sure that in Slovenia, they don't really care about lawsuits. No word how much it'll cost or what the upkeep will be. They say there is another cost. The lawsuit. If it shoots somebody in the eye or accidentally fires at an innocent visitor, child, or a pet. I'm going to tell you right now, I just set it up for the prime uh, delivery guy. It's gotten so bad at my house, honestly, and I mentioned this here a couple of weeks ago. If they don't stop by, you know, for just a couple of days, they come up and check on me to make sure I'm okay. Uh-huh. Hey, we've noticed you didn't get any deliveries. Is everything good here? Uh-uh. Yeah. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary at Bristol. Okay, you've been hearing a number of commercials on the radio about it. Seize the deal. Big auction next week. Mm -hmm. Starts Monday. And they've got some of the stuff up there where you can actually take a look now and preview during the course of this week. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. And there is some high-dollar luxury items. Well, there's there's some that are like that, and there's some that are, you know, like Arclitex garage doors. They've got a garage door that you can bid on. There's floor coating. $500 $500 towards gutters. That's pretty darn cool. Landscaping. Uh, express car wash. Uh, I mean, but you can get your entire kitchen or bathroom remodeled. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Or they've even got Blue Haven pools on here. With or, service and supply, yeah. Yeah, but the stuff that I was really looking at was from American Coins and Collectibles. They have a Judith Lieber event bag. They've got her Is that, is, is that a, I mean, I, it, I don't know that. It's I, very fancy, okay. yes. <laughs> They've even got a generator on there. And starting bids are 60% off. So this $1,000 Echo Generator, starting bid is $400. I mean, that's better than 50% off. Don Tubbs has put up a big green egg. I know, I saw that. All right, take a look. Get ready. You can't actually do your bidding now. That will start Monday. Just go to the website, MyKissCountry937.com. Look for the uh, Seize the Deal auction. They're like a Band-Aid for all of life's bobos. (laughs) It's Gary and Bristol only on Kiss Country 93.7. Cody Johnson, it's the painter. We are Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol. Bozier Parks and Recreation wants you <laughs> yes, to be do. a softball umpire. Now, didn't your middle son, Colt, used to umpire, or uh, Craig? Uh, Craig and Colt were Did both they? umpires, yes. And they were tough dudes for that, if well, I remember correctly. they were correctly. abused, I will say that, you know. <laughs> Craig's like, I don't care how much they pay a kid. These people are mean. I know, right? Like, my kid was saved! But if you're thick-skinned and you love the game of softball, Bossier City Parks and Recreation would love to have you. They are looking for umpires for softball league play. Uh, If you're interested, 
Call Brian at 741-8462, or you can pick up an application at Bozier Parks and Recreation Office there on Old Shed Road. They say, please apply. We are taking applications right now to get ready for the summer season. Okay. Would you do that? Would you be a softball umpire? Mm Mm-mm. Is it because you're afraid? Yes. Oh. I'd be the one getting hit in the head with a ball. I mean, that's just how it works for me. You have to have a police officer to walk you to your car after the game? I need a helmet. Nah, I, I think I would like it. Mm-mm. You know, I, you, you, for that moment, because, you know, we, you and I don't have a whole lot of power. For that moment, you've got all the stroke. You hold the outcome of a game yes. in your hand. Yes. For small children. I don't know if it's for kids or if it's for adults or (laughs) what, but, I mean, you would have the power. Oh, yeah. I got the power! (laughs) It's Gary in Bristol. If you're not having fun yet, you might need someone to call 911 for you. Kiss Country 93.7. New Country from Scotty McCurry. Cab in a solo. Kiss Country 93.7. Gary in Bristol. Neil McCoy. Hank Jr., Saturday night, Brookshire Grocery Arena. We got another pair of tickets with Ticket Trivia. Oh, it's going to be an awesome show. Now, if you missed the answer to yesterday's Ticket Trivia, here it is. Two-thirds of the world's polar bears live in one country. We wanted to know what country that was, and it was Canada. That was so far from my line of thinking. What were you thinking? It had to be, you know, Antarctica. The North Pole, yeah. yeah, North Pole, somewhere like that. No, Canada. (laughs) Okay, today's question. This is the most purchased item in the produce department of grocery stores. What is it? It is the most purchased item in the produce department of grocery stores. What's that item? Seven two five five four seven seven. Good luck now. Seven two five. Kiss. Hey girl, Billy Currington. Kiss country ninety three seven. Gary and Bristol. Don't forget now. Eight twenty. First chance to win up to thirty thousand dollars with Bessie the Kiss Cash Cow. First code of the day at eight twenty. I could use that, couldn't you? Finally, <laughs> CEOs starting to see things the way we've been seeing it for a while. New poll mm-hmm. of one hundred CEOs found that. 30% of them are seriously thinking about shifting away from the five-day work week now. Interesting. They're considering a four-day or four-and-a-half-day week. And to me, if you're going to do four-and-a-half, I mean, that's a five-day week. Mm-hmm. Just because it's a short day on Fridays doesn't mean you didn't have to get up, get dressed, right. go to work. The Wash whole your yard. pits, spray your... Yeah. yeah. Uh, they say, though, that um, from this poll back in November... They asked people if they would be willing to work 10-hour days, four days a week. 77% said, oh, yeah. That would have a positive impact on their life. Almost half of those said extremely positive. Four-day work week would be amazing. And I know a lot of people who've got that schedule. And they're like, you know, you, you work that extra two hours, those four days. And they say, you know, because you don't have to make that extra trip into work or get dressed. On the fifth day, that that two hours is nothing. Nothing, yeah. If you were going to work a four-day work week, though, and I'm sure most people would go with a standard, okay, we're going to work Monday through Thursday, be all Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But there's going to be some who say, no, 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 no. I want to work Tuesday through Friday. Right. I want. I don't ever want another yeah. Monday, ever, <laughs> again. Yeah, but then your Monday just happens on Tuesday. Yeah, but it's not Monday. It's just not Monday. So what would you Either way, you get a three-day weekend. Oh, see, I'm... I am so dense. And I'm just going to call it what it is. You're dense? I am dense. (laughs) It takes... If I take three days off, it takes me too long to get back into the program. I, I lose too much. And so... If I took off Friday, Saturday, I mean, excuse me, Saturday, Sunday, and then take off again Wednesday. So I would work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Gotcha. I could do that. See, then I'm never working more than two days in a row. I've always got, I'm only two days away from a day off at any point. It sounds like heaven. Actually, I'd rather be that uh, independently wealthy world traveler. Yeah. Who, who are Win we Powerball, I'm never going yeah. in again. Yeah, yeah. 
But if you were setting up your schedule, how would you how would you set it up? For me, because I I work so many side hustles, it's not even crazy. It's on the weekend. I would probably do the Monday through Thursday. Yeah, I know you just made it sound so pedestrian. So predictable. Well, but, <laughs> but, but no, that's, that's very common that a lot of people would do that. I'm just one of those, you know, like if I take a week's vacation, I, I might as well go through a new employee training course. I have forgotten everything. Yeah, but honestly, it's gotten to the point now where it takes me three or four days off just to begin to relax. Oh, I can relax like two minutes after I leave here. <laughs> Right. I am into vacation <laughs> mode, rest assured. Okay, oh, so goodness. if you were going to work four tens as opposed to five eights, mm-hmm. you're going to set your own schedule. Your company has said, hey, look, you know, you got to do your 40 hours, but it's up to you how to put them in. What would you do? What would be your schedule? 725-5477. I want someone to get creative with this. <laughs> Maybe educate the rest of the class. 725-KISS. I'm not sure how I got here. Thanks for making us part of your morning, Gary and Bristol, on Kiss Country 93. Kiss Country 93, Sam and Gary and Bristol, we're setting up the perfect work week. <laughs> the CEOs. Perfect work, week, work week for me would be not having to go in, well, but you yeah, know, yeah. The, as close to perfect as we can get. 100 CEOs across the country. Uh, we're just surveyed, and 30% of them are starting to lean towards moving their companies to the four-day work week, four tens as opposed to five eights. Mm-mm-mm. And I think that they're kind of behind on that. I think that the working stiffs like us have been proponents of that for a while. Oh, yeah. Well, we're just tired, man. 77% of the people that were asked about this said, oh, yes. A four-day work week <laughs> would make a huge impact in my life. It sounds like a vacation to me, honestly. Even though I know we're going to be getting the same amount of work done, uh, ideally. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, and you think about it. When you go to when you go to four days, you don't have that loss of of, of downtime that you do when you show up in the morning. You're not at a hundred percent when you first get there. No, in fact, I read somewhere earlier this week that like 8.15 is the most stressful time of day because that's the time you run into work and that's when the chaos happens. Yeah. Everybody's getting there and going, trying to assess what happened and, you know, since you were last there. Right. So, yeah. So if you if you eliminate one of those days, mm-hmm. you just elongate the other four, then you've lost that, that, that downtime that you're not productive. Now, the last two hours of the day, probably not. I've always said, I might when I go to my hairstylist, <laughs> m- when Melissa cuts my hair, I don't want to be the last customer of the day because I know your feet hurt, your hands hurt. You know, you got, every- you got hair in your bra. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be the last one. No. I don't want to be the first one. I don't want to be the last one. Hey, just but- be happy you have hair to cut, Gary. Yeah, amen. Okay, so here's the deal. If your company goes to a four-day work week and they've left it to you to set that schedule, how are you going to do it? I mean, what are going to be the days that you work and what are going to be the days you take off? Mine would, I would honestly have to be Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. Why, why would you work on Saturday? Uh, because one, I, I would be off for church on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, I wouldn't, I would actually be able to get everything done because everything is open on Mondays and Tuesdays. Oh, and well, good I point. mean, well, hair salons and stuff like that, not necessarily. But, yeah, they're open on Tuesday. I get what you're saying. Stick around. Just 15 more minutes. You won't believe what these two are going to do next. It's Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. That's Lainey Wilson, Wildflowers, Wild Horses. Kiss Country 93.7, Gary and Bristol. Click it or tick it. Yes. You make the decision. Which one's it going to be for you? <laughs> I Shreveport think will click. Shreveport will help you out with that Friday. Exactly. They're going to have a safety checkpoint in Shreveport. Shreveport Police Department putting this on from 2 until 8 this Friday. It's going to be at an undisclosed location in Southeast Shreveport. So make sure you got that seatbelt buckled. I'm and assuming that's PM and not AM. Correct. Okay. Well, <laughs> they yeah. got two every day. I know. I know. (laughs) Two to eight this Friday, and uh, all we know is it is Southeast Shreveport. Mm -hmm. His country, 93.7. We need more cowbell. It's time for 
for another Kiss Cash Cow code. That cowbell means you could win cash with our Kiss Cash Cow codes. And your code this hour is 155. That's 155. Enter 155 in your Kiss Country app by midnight tonight for another chance to win. It's Gary and Bristol on Shreveport Bossier's number one for new country. Kiss Country 93.7. Chris Young, Young Love, and Saturday Night's Kiss Country 93.7. Gary and Bristol hanging out with you at work this morning. And you know, tomorrow, he, here's, here's the deal. You know somebody that is worthy of the Kiss Country Con of the Act Award. And you haven't messaged us yet. You haven't nominated them for that award. And because of that, they're not going to get that $100 gift certificate from Silver Star. David Alvis, thank you every week. He comes forward. He was, you know, when we started this 10 years ago, yeah. uh, D- David was like, this is the most awesome thing out there. And, and I want to make sure that I these people am, yeah. not only get your love and admiration, but I want to throw in a $100 gift certificate from Silver Star. And because you haven't nominated them, well, that person doesn't know how much you appreciate what they're doing and what Aww. they've meant in your life. Here I was, I was like, it's on you. It's your, all your fault. <laughs> You're like taking it to the sweet emotional place. Well, but the thing is, is it, it's not that hard to make the nomination. We've got the form right there. You go to the website, mykisscountry937.com or the app, and you can type in the search bar there, caught in the act. And any one of those stories that pops up is going to have a little link in there that says, you know, if you know somebody that is worthy of this, Click here. Do that. Now, you can't message us through the app and, and send in the nomination. you got to make an official nomination. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow, we're going to recognize this week's recipient. And I'm always amazed when we do this. Some of the stories that we get are just incredible. Things are going on in the community that you don't even know about. Right. Until you find out, oh, my God. And I've got a number of friends who will come to me and go, dude. You guys make me cry every Thursday. Aw, well, it's not us. It's really not us. We we have the easy job recognizing it. Yeah, exactly. We're not the ones out there doing the hard work every day like these folks are. But it first starts with the nomination. It does. So if you've got time today, make time if you don't. But if you've got that minute, jump on the website or the app. Submit that Caught in the Act nomination. And tomorrow we'll find out who gets the award this week. And more importantly... Who's going to Silver Star? Right. <laughs> Get that done now. Almost as important as your morning coffee. It's Carrie and Bristol, only on Kiss Country 93.7.